Couple of uh, rule changes, Al, in the NBA. Mm. Couple of rule changes that could impact the Knicks here. Um, number one is, hang tight. Number one here, I'm just trying to pull it up. The anti-flopping rule. Flops will result in a technical foul. Now, you know, why I say it impacts us is because there has been accusations of people of our of our floor general Jalen Brunson. Mm. That not that he flops, that he embellishes a little bit. Now I call it Ooh. master selling. He's a master salesman at getting his calls. A lot of times he's he's getting smacked around in the face. You know, he's a smaller guy. He's he's Ding up. He's playing aggressive. He's trying to draw off offensive fouls. This is his way of playing defense. Sometimes he gets hit and he gets the call. I wonder if they'll turn the tables on him and call him for a tech. Will he get called for a flop there? Your, your thoughts on the anti-flop rule leading to a technical foul? I hope not. This guy draws charges. He legitimately puts his body on the line to make sure he can draw the foul on the offense. So I hope not, but I think it will just be iffy man to see how they call this flopping rule this flopping rule man like the the level of detail and investigative work we're going to watch for whoever calls this yeah. right and like say it is called right and now the new rule that you have if you want to overturn that like how, how, i don't know man yeah there's some ones that are very obvious like when you watch a chris paul marcus Smart, like you could just say okay that's a flop lowry kyle lowry you know he'll jump that's like five a, feet into the stands yeah. On a hip check. That's, that guy. Yeah. Yeah. That's going to change Please. the whole game. He might as well retire right now. The league's cooked for him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just, yeah. I don't know, man. I just don't know how you're going to be able to call it. That's such a, like, even watching that in slow motion, like, sometimes it looks more of a foul than it is. Sometimes it doesn't. Yeah. I think that's going to be something so tricky to call. I, I think it's it's as it's as tricky as the take foul was. You notice in the playoffs they didn't call many of them. I don't I don't if, the, if at all you didn't see them anymore. All of a sudden there were no more take fouls. Right? It's it's going to be very difficult. And how do you police? Because there's flopping, and there's embellishments. Right? We said this on the NBA report. There's flopping and embellishments. There's the guys that are just completely acting and wilding out. Okay, that deserves, but. Is an embellishment wrong if you're trying to get the ref's attention and he's been missing the call constantly? You know, these guys are blind, man. Like, is that is that going to be called for a tech? Is that going to be called for a flop? How do you call the post up, a player backing down the defender in the post, and the defender falls back trying to draw offensive foul or or he pulls the chair back and falls is that a flop is that an offensive foul is that a defensive foul like you know is it just going to be when that post player is you know using his elbow using his off arm aggressively that's is that the only way you call an offensive foul it's going to be very hard to police that it's going to be very it's hard to be police that it's gonna be difficult, man. Yeah, I, I'm not really a fan of that rule change. Um, I think it's easier for the take fouls. I think for drawing, I think for flopping, the refs just have to be better at just allowing the league to be a little bit more aggressive. You know what I mean? Like yeah. more physicality. That's that's what they just have to embrace instead of just saying, "Oh, that's a flop." That's like, that's a foul, that's a foul, that's a foul. Because at, at, in some games, depending on who's calling the game, there are way too many fouls, man. It, it ruins the entire flow of the game. It's very choppy, living at the free throw line. I'm not watching basketball to see everyone live at the free throw line. I'm trying to see some good, fluid basketball play, good defense, good offense. It's going to be tricky, man. Really, uh, the way to, to curtail this was not the rule, the, the rule change. It was more so of telling refs, hey, what allow a more physical game. Right. Yeah. 
So, yeah, going to be interesting to see, man, because it's already calling an offensive foul is already difficult. So well, let's see how that works. Now, the second one uh, I agree with should have been should have been in place is that coaches will be given a second challenge if the first is successful, if they have timeouts left. Now, despite the fact that I hate the replays, I think they are entirely way too long. Uh, and sometimes when they come in at pivotal points of the game, you ruin the whole flow, the 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 the, the whole rhythm of the game. I, I think you run the risk of that. But if you do get a call right, showing that the ref was a bonehead or completely missed it, you should be rewarded with another one. You know, I liked it with football. And if you're going to do the replays in basketball, you should be able to get at least another one. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, you know, like in the NFL, you don't like actually you, you don't lose a timeout in the NBA. But I do agree with the fact that if you win one, you should get another one and leave it at that. I think it makes sense. Uh, the question is, will they allow someone like Pat Beverly to take the camera and show the ref saying, hey, this is a foul? That's the bigger question. I yeah, I uh, I highly doubt it, man. I highly doubt it. 